I chose to intern at the Center for Law and Democracy because I've always been interested in human rights law and that was definitely a factor for my decision to go to law school. So I thought this would be a really great opportunity to actually experience working in this field of law and working in that type of environment. My day-to-day -day work involved doing legal research. That was the main role that I played, was providing supportive research to my superiors, so the executive director of the Center for Law and Democracy and the, uh, the main legal researcher. Uh, so depending on what projects we had each day and what issues had arisen would be the type of research I would do. This would vary from responding to a new law passed by a country. I would assess that law and then write up a comparative analysis of that law to the international standards that we were trying to promote. This would also involve doing uh, research on specific human rights terms or issues that could be used within a paper or a report that the Center for Law and Democracy was publishing. So every day was kind of different in the stuff I was researching and the issues, but it was a very research intensive, um, a research intensive internship. The first larger project I worked on was drafting an editorial charter for Myanmar's public broadcaster, MRTV. An editorial charter uh, monitors and sets standards for the behavior of public broadcasters. So in drafting this for Myanmar, uh, I first looked at the editorial charters of international public broadcasters, so including CBC, BBC, uh, the public broadcaster in India and South Africa. And then from there, I worked with other interns at the CLD to draft uh, provisions that were specific to Myanmar's uh, context. And then once that was finished, it was submitted to the government in Myanmar to uh, approve and implement, which is still ongoing. The second larger project I worked on was researching on how Nova Scotia's Cyber Safety Act could be drafted to be more constitutional. The act was found to be unconstitutional because it infringed on people's freedom of expression. So I did some research to prepare for the Center for Law and Democracy's involvement of discussions with the Nova Scotia government by researching what the problems were with the old act, how it could be drafted so that it was more constitutional in the sense that it didn't infringe on freedom of expression, as well as researching other jurisdictions' laws on cyberbullying and how they've uh, approach the issue, including in Australia and in the United States. Because the internship was focused on legal research, I found that uh, legal research and writing, which I took in first year with Anne Matthewman, was especially important for me to be able to accomplish any of the work I did. Uh, that course allowed me to learn how to use legal resources such as Canly for doing research as well as how to cite uh, legislation. So that was really important for me to be able to accomplish any of my research tasks during the internship. I also found that constitutional law, which I took in second year with Professor Elaine Craig, was really important because it provided me with uh, knowledge about the constitutional right of freedom of expression.